Hello Chess Buddies, today I am going to introduce you to the 10th world champion Boris Ispaski. And for those of you who do not know much about uh, Ispaski, he was the reigning world champion from 1969 up to 1972. This guy is a Soviet Armenian chess player. And during his time there is uh, a grandmaster who said that uh, if Boris Ispaski will, will offer you a sacrifice, you better resign. So it means this guy is a, a fancy type of player, a person with a lot of sacrifice in his game, playing like somehow a game of uh, Mikael Tal. Okay, so let's find out the beauty of his game. Here he will be playing against Gilles Androuet, and the game was in 1987. In the, uh, in the in the name of the game is Bundesliga. Okay, so here the white pieces will be played by. Gilles Andrewet and the black will be handled by Ispaski. Gilles opens up with d4. Paski opens up with knight f6. c4. e6. Knight f3. And here comes the bishop goes to b4 with a check. Okay, by the way, uh, this kind of uh, opening here is what we call the Bogo Indian defense. Okay, so here the, the king is under threat. So here bishop goes to d2 to block the bishop. Okay, bishop uh, bishop takes d2. Queen takes d2. D5. Knight goes to c3. And castling king side by Boris. E3 by Gilles. Queen goes to e7. And here comes the rook goes to c1. Rook goes to d8. Queen goes to d2. And here comes the knight goes to d7. C takes d5. E takes d5. Bishop goes to d3 with uh, the intention of uh, castling uh, kingside. And here comes the knight of... Uh, Boris goes to f8, so intending maybe to maneuver here or to maneuver here. Okay, so as you can see here, this pawn is guarded by the by the knight, but it's being attacked by 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 the by the bishop and by the queen. So maybe the intention is to give additional protection for this uh, for this pawn. Uh, that's the reason why he put his knight to f8 knight goes to e2 c6 and here comes uh, slinking side by Gilles knight goes to g6 so okay the the pawn is being targeted by by the queen and by the bishop so he moves his knight to g6 in order to solve any uh, destruction from these two uh, pieces here. Knight goes to g3 and rook goes to e8. Queen goes to c5 by Gilles uh, intending to exchange their queens. Queen goes to d8 so uh, Boris is not interested with the queen exchange. Knight goes to d2 and here comes the knight goes to h4 okay so what is the purpose of this knight maybe he's targeting this pawn here in uh, g, uh, g2 okay but uh, as of the moment it is being protected by the king so there's no problem uh, being uh, the knight here in this uh, h4 b4 by uh, Gilles, a6, and here comes a4 by Gilles. Bishop goes to d7, rook goes to b1, and here comes another knight goes to g4. So let's find out what is the next move here. Uh, if I will be asked what is my best move here, I want to push away this knight by pushing the, the pawn here but the move here of uh, Gilles is queen goes to c2 
Okay, so he's not in, he's not uh, intending to push away the the knight, but um, perhaps he see that uh, this pawn is free for grab now because it's unguarded by the knight. So he just move his queen here in support of the bishop to uh, probably attack the pawn here in h7. B6 by Boris solving the problem of uh, any threat from the queen and the bishop. B5, he takes B5, he takes B5, and H5 by Boris. So not capturing the pawn, but instead uh, supporting his knight here in G4. B takes C6. B takes e6, and here comes the rook goes to e1. Queen goes to f6, so with the idea of capturing the pawn with a check, okay, capturing the pawn, and uh, if uh, there is no solution to guard uh, this pawn, then checkmate here because the knight is covering this uh, this square. So you have to, you must re, you must uh, react on this because uh, you will be checkmated here. So the move here of uh, Gilles is knight goes to f1. Okay, so his resolve about this threat is to open the 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 line for the, for the queen to support this uh, this pawn. So as of the moment, there is no uh, threat of being. Uh, checkmated by capturing first this pawn and in here Boris move his rook to a3 uh, eyeing to capture the bishop okay so you have to, re to react on this because uh, if you will not react then this 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 rook will just uh, capture this uh, bishop and you cannot capture it back because the queen is guarding this important square. So what is the solution here? What do you, what, how do you want to, uh, to respond with this kind of uh, threat by Spassky? So let's find out the next move of uh, Giles. Okay, so here the next move of Giles is Rook goes to E2. Okay, so... He just uh, placed one uh, defender for this uh, for this pawn here, so that uh, if uh, Spassky will just uh, eliminate this bishop, then the queen can now recapture it because uh, there is no more danger of uh, being checkmated here, as it is being guarded by the rook. Okay, and in here. Spassky found a very very interesting move that uh, can be considered as a game changer and he sacrificed a pawn move his pawn to c5 okay so what is the idea behind this one what is the what's, what's the idea behind the sacrifice if the if this uh, pawn will be recaptured by the by the pawn then there will be an opportunity for the knight to maneuver here okay so later on we will find out what is the importance of this knight going here in this uh, important square so okay so let's find out the next move here of uh, of giles okay giles decided to capture the, the pawn in c5 so it's very tempting to uh, it's very tempting not to capture this pawn because uh, this is free pawn so uh, as I have said, because of this move, there is no more uh, pawn here to guard this important square. And the next move here of uh, Spassky is knight goes to five. Okay. So here, your bishop is under threat. This is being attacked by the by the by the rook and also being attacked by the by the knight. So you have to react on this. Maybe you can solve it by putting here additional defender so that uh, if the knight captures the, the the bishop, then you will capture it by your 
by Rook. Okay? But in here, the decision here of uh, Gilles Andrewet is Bishop goes to b5. So here, he just offered an exchange of the bishop without uh, seeing any danger in the side of his king. Okay, but here, as you can see here, uh, if you will study the, the positions of the pieces of Boris Spassky, there is no uh, visible threat of uh, being checkmated here. If you will analyze the situation, what is the danger of uh, these positions of his pieces? But actually, this uh, move of uh, Gilles, uh, Gilles Andrewet is a mistake and uh, this uh, kind of move was capitalized immediately by Boris Spassky and uh, try to figure out what will be the next move here of uh, Boris Spassky. I will post the video and uh, try to find out what is that move, actually the winning move of Boris Spassky. Okay, in here, the winning move of uh, Boris Spassky is very unbelievable. And the move is, Queen goes to F3. So, what is the idea behind this move? Okay, and it was in this position actually, in this move uh, number 28, Gilles Andrewet resigned the game. So, if you want to, uh, to, 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 to test yourself uh, about uh, the reason of, his, of uh, the resignation, then you can post the video and try to figure out what is the reason behind this uh, uh, sacrifice. As you can see, it is uh, pre-programmed by the pawn. Okay, so what is the reason of the resignation? Okay, so let's find out the reason. Uh, he resigned the game because this will be the possible next solution or next uh, threat. So here, you have not, you have, you can do nothing here. You have no other option but to capture the the, the queen. If you will, uh, if you will move uh, any of these uh, pieces uh, in the board, then you will be automatically checkmated by the queen here. Okay, so you, it is mandatory for you to capture the queen. So if you capture the queen, then this will happen. Okay, so as we can see here, this is the most important part of the pieces right now uh, to work, to for the sacrifice to work. Okay, so that's why in the earlier part of our video, I mentioned that this pawn here is very important. Okay, and this capture of the pawn here by this pawn serve as the uh, the ending moment for the uh, for Gilles Andrewet okay so here the knight can capture this pawn with a check okay so you are under check you cannot move uh, move up because it is uh, being guarded by the knight okay so whatever you whatever you do here whatever you move here you are checkmated in two, okay? So, because the possible, uh, because the possible, uh, the next move here is, okay, so right now you're under check, okay? Let's, uh, let's just uh, take a look first at this, uh, this king. You're under check, so you have to move your king to safety, so you have to move in H1. But the next move here of, uh, Boris Spassky will be not capturing the bishop but going here in h3 okay so the, the threat here is one move mate because this box is guarded by the by the knight okay so the only way for you not to be check, to be checkmated in one is uh, of course you you can do a check by capturing the the pawn here with a check but that is just a silly move and even though you capture that your ending will be by means of this bishop 
so okay let's try to find out if uh, you want to delay the game okay check here and then Boris will capture your, your your queen and then what else is your move whatever you move you will be checkmated in one so for example you try to lure the, the knight you move your knight here in order for this knight to to be lured and recapture this one but here Boris Spassky will not mind about this this knight he will just move his bishop here to g2 and you are checkmated okay so that is the reason why in in move number 20 uh, 28 Boris uh, opponent Gilles Underwood resigned the game okay so I hope you like this uh, video and I hope that uh, you learned something from uh, the game of Boris Spassky thank you very much and God bless everyone